Okay, so this is the stage version of Stega Stories by Phil Smith. I made a video on this, uh, learning how to do Stega Stories. It's 25 minutes long, but don't worry about it. It's very fast, it's very thorough. Uh, I did the restaurant, the bar, the table hopping. Of course, you can't do Stega Stories as a walk-around trick, unfortunately, because you need a table. You could bring a table and do this, I guess, if you do walk around. But it's more for, like, parlors and bar, uh, table hopping and bar magic restaurant magic. Pretty much anywhere it requires a table. So I decided to take the whole thing and make it into a stage act. And you could use this on an easel or if you have a wall at somebody's house you could just tape it here and just use pictured tape and I just put it up here. Uh, the, the bomb tape, whatever you, when you hang pictures like the mounting tape, that's what I use for this. Okay, and I'll explain that this breaks down. I did, you could use poster board, but I didn't because this just folds up and they could fold up into a suitcase. So let's do the presentation. We have Blink, Build, Lousy, Moist, Plank, Flame, Model, Place, Lanky, Orbit, Bagel, Hands, Prank, Mass, Pasty, Heart, Sling, Coins, Cloth, White, Curly, Tudor, Vocal, Rover, Sting, Trout, Camel, Tri, Drain, Crepe. Raven and Trade, okay? You give the spectator a group of ten cards and they're all jumbled different words. There's all these letters all over every one of these, okay? The spectator over here, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, I say think of one of those 30 plus cards on the table. I mean, this would, it normally would be on the table. Look at the wall, think of one of those uh, words. Don't think of all 31 words, think of one. So they do. So, I have one in mind, okay? So, you would give them the cards and they, you would tell them to find a letter on each of the cards. So, they would look at the card and say, oh, this has this, that has the first letter on it. Uh, this one has the second. The third. Uh, the fourth. And the fifth, okay? And then you can put the other cards to the side. Now, here, now I didn't teach this in the state of source, but you can do this as a phase. So the magician comes over here and does a little thing like this and reads the cards and says, think of the word. And you can present this any way you want. You can look at the person and concentrate on their, on their thoughts. Just look at the person and go, okay, think of your word letter by letter by letter by letter by letter. Or you could just wave your hand over the, the different letters here and get the same, pretty much the same thing, okay? So I would look at this, okay, and I would write my prediction on here, and I would put it down, and I'd say, okay, now you could have spelled any of these, this one has this one, this one has this one, this one has this one, okay? This one has this, and this one has that. So they would say this is the first letter, the second letter, the third letter, the fourth letter, and the fifth letter. And I'd say, what was the word you were thinking of? And they'd say, blame. And I'd come over here, and I just wrote on the prediction, and the prediction says, blame. Now, like I said, this is, I taught this, I'm going to send the link on this video, and like I said, I have a 25 minute tutorial video that's very in-depth. I know what you're saying, why is your videos 20 minute long? Because I explain every detail. I don't leave anything out. I've got comments from people that said, you explained it so well. So, you don't have to use this, like I said, you can use an easel, but why I use this instead of that is because, I, like I said, I use picture mounting tape on the back of this. And you can just bring it, and after you're done with it in a show, you can just toss the picture mounting tape in the thing. And like I said, you can use poster board, but the reason I don't is because uh, it folds. You know, Pat's big play, or uh, whatever you call it. Uh, Pat's small plays big, right? That Dan Harlan always says that. But yeah, this is so easy to make. It's basically like poster board, but it's the stuff that you can get in Walmart. I don't know the exact size of this. I'm sorry, I can't like tell you this and this and this. But if you look at it, you know the size, okay? Um, so it's just the car, uh, just basically the construction paper type thing. 
And I think this was 89 cents. And guess what kind of paper this is, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, computer paper, print paper, the print that you put in the printer. So that's it. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's all you need. You need a big enough, um, you need a big enough uh, board in the back that folds. And all you're going to do is just glue. Now, if you want to, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to write it out, because I believe this is more organic if you write it out instead of typing it, if you want to make it, and let's say you want to make it really nice, you could type all this stuff up on your computer and have it that way if you want to do it that way. But for me, I just think it looks more organic when you write it.